Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live where I interact with everyone and answer all the questions and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Also, now we are active with MrPopsit.com. You can get merch to represent your guy. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. This is our extractions patient. Thanks to her for sharing her procedure. You can see lots of whiteheads and kind of almost just like little follicular cyst is what they are. We open up that pore and it's just kind of like a pasty infiltrate of keratin, which is dead skin and oils mixing together. And she's got quite a few. If we come to the other side here, pull the skin up, you can see those on the neck, jawline on the cheek. So she probably has, I would say 40 maybe on each side. We'll get those out today for her and she'll feel a lot lighter when she leaves. Hey <laughs> guys, we have the skin prepped and ready to go. We're gonna start with the tips here on the cheeks. You can see here up on, she's had some threading done, so we didn't do that, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> We're gonna get a nice wide base here. A little squeeze and these should start to pop right out. There, there we go. It always gets slippery when it starts coming out. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> A little bit of pressure if I'm pushing too hard let me know okay. just empty in that pocket that's good and you won't see any white in that pocket when we're done okay. some areas can be a little more tender than others Nice thing about white heads as opposed to black heads is usually they're a little kind of creamier. They come out a little bit easier. There we go. Sorry, that hurts a little. No, you're good. Not that good. No, not at all. You can see when you pull the skin, that buildup that's under there. That one. A little tender? Yeah. No, but it's the most annoying one. It's been there forever. A little pressure on that. You kind of got three little pockets there. That's why. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm going to, I do see where you're talking about here. <laughs> yeah. Do a little release on this pocket right there. Should be able to get a little core out of there. Not a ton. It was kind of drying up, actually, it looks like. Okay. It's been maybe a week since I've used my retinoids, so. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's good it's still drying. <laughs> yeah, get, well, it gives you a little break. It's good to do that before extraction, so take a little break. Okay. Nice plug there. Do see one here we didn't poke. That one we may do a finger squeeze. There it goes. A little pinch. Sorry, that was a deeper one. Mm -hmm. Very nice. A lot of stuff came out. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes in a deep part of the cheek, you can get behind it better with your fingers here, just like that. Because mm -hmm. you do a Q-tip, it kind of goes right in by the teeth. <laughs> yeah. Very nice, get a lot out of here.
Nice, looking good already on the cheek. It's kind of harder to see them sometimes when my gloves are so close there. <laughs> That's good. Do you want me to look up? Oh no, you're doing great. Okay. <laughs> it's my gloves that are in the way. <laughs> I <laughs> good one here. You can see even with all that pressure, there's no, you know, scabbing or kind of sloughing the skin there. Patients tolerate it very well. The Q-tips and just a little cotton bud there. A little tender on that one? No, it all feels fine. Good. Behind each one of these. You may let the medications do that one. Hybrid pop there, half finger, half cute. <laughs> That's good. Just roll those out. The jawline can be tricky because it tries to slide up or down, but mm -hmm. we got it. Just got to pull that skin tight. See when you pull the skin, those bumps are gone. Couple right here. Need to open those up. Pain. Yeah, it's, it's just painful. <laughs> yeah, then trying to squeeze real hard. For sure. Yeah, once you make that little opening, it pops right out, which is good. It's a good size one right there. small ones right there in the middle but all those big ones are out that's a nice dry plug there I don't go chasing every teeny tiny one here when we're doing 100 or 150 we stick with the bigger ones first <laughs> those are the ones that have more of a chance to cause an inflammatory response and then turn into a kind of a mini abscess that can scar, so. Right. Hopefully I didn't have any pimples on my upper lip, so I was like, yeah, yeah it's fine. Um, for threading, that would have been yeah. tough if you did. <laughs> yeah. Almost all those. So we'll go to the other side here. She's got a couple bigger ones and then we'll be good. Cheek number two. Start at the top and work our way down. Good. 
big area with multiple like this. I'll kind of come through with a finger squeeze and get all of them. Mm. Basically one squeeze. <laughs> kind of rub that. Looking good and pull the skin up there. You can really see that those little pockets are drained. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do a wipe now. Good size one there. Didn't look like it would be, but it was. <laughs> She had an inflammatory one here that was bigger, right about there. Sorry, a little pinch. You okay? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna see if we can get anything out of that pocket. Yeah, a little bit. A little cord just popped out. <laughs> nice. Would me smiling or anything help or no? No, no, you're doing great. Just okay. sitting just like that. It's perfect. We're almost done. I do see a big one here. Poke that pore. A little pressure. Popping tools you're born with right there. <laughs> <laughs> the thumbs work great. Grouping there. Okay. 
like we said, some of these smaller ones, we're going to let the retinoid dry that up. We'll let her heal from this and then come back and check some of those. Some of them will get out, some of them will go away. Let's go back and check some of the ones we did with the Q-tip. Didn't get deep enough. Oh, smart. Yeah. Come back with a little hand squeeze to see if any of them had any residual. There's a little one in there. See that retinoids drying these up, a little bit of peeling, that's what we want to see. Uh, everything is falling into place here. Okay. Come up here. Do you see one? Deep big one there I want to get and almost done. One more poke right here. There it is. Long stringer there. That's just that paste we're talking about, keratin. You see when you pull now that white little bump down deep is gone. Another one. We got quite a few today. If I say it was 150, somebody will actually count every pop and then talk about it in the comments and say, he's wrong, he's lying. <laughs> so I just stop saying the numbers, just say a lot. <laughs> so a little bit of redness just from the squeezing, that'll go down within an hour or so. And then there'll be way less bumps. I'm liking that, it looks good. Okay, guys, that was all the pops for today. We wore everybody out. <laughs> She's looking good. Those little uh, little pockets should dry up now with the retinoid and kind of stay closed up and nice and tight. It takes time, though. She's producing a lot of oil, so we kind of cycle through clearing those out, using the retinoid and staying on that. And sometimes it takes a couple cycles of pops, and then we get them pretty clear, and the retinoid keeps it that way. So thanks for popping by. Hey guys. Mr. Pops it here. This is our whiteheads patient. She had quite a few whiteheads and you can see here, if you pull the skin, it's hard to even find one here. Come down here and she does have a couple small ones we're going to get today, but I just wanted to show the follow-up from one treatment from her before when you pull that skin. There's just some small ones we're going to do just clean up today. But just wanted to show what extractions can do. And when you get on a salicylic glycolic acid or a retinoid, it kind of keeps it that way. So it's going to reduce her oil production. Um, she has so few. I'm not even going to record this session because they're all small pops. But just wanted to show from her first one, this is going to tag in at the end of it um, after a couple weeks looking great.